testing out some game streaming on my NVIDIA Shield TV. I'm using my NVIDIA Shield controller and right now I have a uh, Samsung cell phone earbud set up plugged into the base of the controller. The NVIDIA Shield controller does have a built-in microphone but when I did some test clips using the built-in microphone because of the housing on the controller and how loud the buttons are all you do is hear me clicking a d-pad and clicking buttons. It's really annoying so I'm using the earbuds instead. Um, what I got here is on the NVIDIA Shield TV because it's made by NVIDIA and my video card in my laptop is a GTX 1060 also by NVIDIA. The NVIDIA sharing experience allows you to link these two so you can stream stuff from your computer onto your NVIDIA Shield TV so you can play games on your TV. So my laptop's in my bedroom. I have it hooked up to a D-Link bridge setup uh, networking into my living room. So, let's see if I can toggle out of here real quick just to prove it to you. So, that's the NVIDIA Shield interface right now. And we're playing my Crisis 2 game. No, cancel. Zoom. Hopefully it doesn't reload me. Yeah, alright, I'm back in the menu. Okay. So, when it's doing this, um, I'll show you something. You can bring up, if you hit the right arrow, if you hold down the right arrow on the NVIDIA Shield controller, it'll bring up this menu here because it lets you stream a bunch of different games from your computer. Not every game, but a lot of them. And for certain games that don't support a controller, it has these functions on here where you can turn on a keyboard, which I actually need to use on this Crisis game. Because for those that don't know, when you have this Crisis 2 game, it gives you a pop-up warning when you own it on Steam. And it actually shows your key at the beginning of the game, so you gotta turn on Shift Tab to disable that on-screen display. But also, when you're on this menu with by holding down the right arrow on the Shield controller, if you hold left trigger, left bumper, and hit B, you should be able to get your streaming information. So right now, it's weird. It's streaming in 4K, even though in all the menu settings I could find for the uh, Steam streaming. I told it, oh, there it goes, it switched to 1080. I told it to limit to 1080, but it kept, it's like toggling to 4K. And it's actually, the screen on here, it's actually running on my laptop right now, and it looks just like this, and now it's toggling back to 4K. So, I'm going to see how this runs. Now, I don't have too much lag in the controller right now, although it's kind of jittery on the TV end, but if you actually watch it on the laptop in the living room on the on-screen display, it says it's running at 60, and you can use the mouse to play it still, and it, then you can, it'll, it's actually duplicating it on the, my uh, voice audio is out of sync, that's because of the actual Shield TV, the built-in recording, you can see on the upper right hand side it's recording at 1080p, but 30 frames a second and doing some test recording it looks like when it's doing the game stream it's probably too much stress for the actual internal software recording so it might uh, put my voice out of sync with the actions I'm doing so and I can't tell if that it's happening live so I'm just gonna try to play this and see how it goes so yeah it looks like it's gonna keep toggling between 1080p 60 on the stream and probably jumping to 4k although I told it to limit everything to 1080p just to try to optimize the settings. So like right now me jiggling the left stick, this is pretty responsive. Game looks pretty good. And by default when it loaded up, it looks like when you load up games it automatically tries to toggle graphic settings for you based upon the settings that you have enabled on the networking. Got to recharge my shield real quick. All right. So yeah, I'm talking about back to 4K, which is weird. And I'm on a 5 gigahertz wireless network with my D-Link bridge setup that I always use. Stairs here. All right. So, anyway, while I'm um, down here, carry this over.
So the screen right now is a little jittery for me on the TV end. I'm losing some responsiveness. Even though on the green upper left hand display it's saying I got like zero packet loss, but it is a little bit jittery on my end. Like I said, if you go to the laptop and look at the on screen display on the laptop, it still says it's running at 60 frames a second. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to show you. So if you hit right arrow on the shield, that's just like hitting start on a game controller. And the shield controller, it's basically just a copy off an Xbox controller, except for the left stick is not offset. So go in here and show you what the graphics settings were. So it's the same thing that I got my normal laptop set up as. Although by default, depending on the streaming settings that you have set up on the shield, it'll downgrade these. So I had uh, I changed a couple settings on the shield uh, menu, or I should say the Steam menu for streaming, and then it ended up copying where I already have as the default settings for running this on my laptop. So you see, you got everything on Ultra for the streaming. And just to test for the uh, audio, right now I am swimming through the water, uh, just to see if my voice audio got desynced out of here. I'm going through these sewer tunnels, I'm about to jump up, landed, and I'm about to look through a hole, and I got a little bit of stuttering on my audio. off the visor and crawl through the hole here I hear a soldier well there's two of them take these fools out real quick all right on my radar there's the other guy Uh, Prophet, maybe the subway wasn't the best idea. I'm reading dozens of heat signatures right underneath you. Watch your step down there. I do get some audio hitching on my end. I don't know if that's going to come through on the uh, shield recording, but that'll do it for now. So, actually, let me show you something here. So I'm going to hit circle on the shield menu. Oh, actually, go back. Messing up, messing up. Go back down. Go back down. So I'm going to cycle back to the game real quick. Quit out of here. And then quit out of the game. And then that'll bring me back to the Steam, the Steam menu. And here's the settings I was talking about. So on here, on the display, I told it to limit to 1080, but it was still trying to stream at 4K, which I don't understand. Uh, broadcasting 1080, which I don't think we were using, but I think the remote play is what we were using. And here, um, even on the advanced host options is what I've got enabled. And advanced client options. I told it to limit it to 1080, but it's still trying to stream at 4K, and it didn't matter if I toggled these two between balanced and beautiful, it didn't seem to affect anything. So I'm not sure exactly what everything does.